Thundercat, born Steven Bruner, is willing and able to shape shift to fit into just about any box you show him, he just wants to stay in there for long. Whether fusing his talent for jazz while a bassist with punk legacy act suicidal tendencies or as a member of Snoop Dogg's band may be running a little too far with a solo here and there, the focus seems to eventually drift his way. After releasing two brilliant solo albums, he was plucked to work on what eventually became one of the most important works of art released this decade Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly. Capitalizing off of the new exposure, he quickly released the EP The Beyond Where the Giants Roam. That was followed about two years later by Drunk, his most solid project to date. I did and Tino what to expect in the days leading to the performance but I was hoping to get what I thought a Thundercat experience would be like. All boxes ended up checked he arrived wearing a neon pink hoodie with his signature logo plastered about, kickboxing shorts, white chanclitas, playing a Nintendo portable gaming console. He and his bandmates Dennis Hem, Justin Brown and Miguel Atwood Ferguson, all master musicians in their own right, polished off some bacon croissant sandwiches and proceeded to give us three of the best of what Drunk has to offer. Setlist Lava Lamp Friends owned them changes musicians Stephen Bruner vocals, bass Dennis Hem keys Justin Brown drums Miguel Antwood Ferguson violin credits producers Bobby Carter, Morgan Noel Smith creative director Bob Boylan audio engineer Josh Rogosin videographers Morgan Noel Smith, Maya Stern, Elise Young production assistant CJ Rickel and photo Jennifer Kerrigan NPR. For more Tiny Desk Concerts, subscribe to our podcast.